Okay, we're live at the Luskin Conference Center. So just FYI, it's um, here we are at UCLA. It's very, very quiet. Um, everything's kind of on lockdown right now. So uh, just so everybody knows, um, we are here and we're preparing to go in to the Board of Regents meeting. And we'll catch it. Kumu Mikilani. I'm just inviting first, and um, we're here at UCLA campus for the BOR Board of Regents meeting. And um, if you guys can do us a humongous favor, invite everyone, post it on the different groups that you guys are a part of. And that's a beautiful way that we can do this. Yes, please share our live streams. And uh, Kumu Miki Lani was going to be live too, so we're going to do a double um, broadcast here. So if people can please share, share, share our stuff, that would be really helpful. This is a very digital, how's it everybody? <laughs> this is a very digital endeavor because um, as you can see, there's like, there's nobody on this entire campus almost. So, um, you know, everything's on, in lockdown and we're very much respecting the need for um, uh, public health protocols. Um, and at the same time, um, because there is going to be a UC board meeting here, we do need to make sure that those accountabilities are held also. So, um, yeah, so we're here, I have my special, what you might call it, um, it double duty <laughs> covering here, so that, as needed. Um, but right now we're just um, we're just preparing to go in. So if people, if folks can um, look out, and what were the um, you see just, that? What, what were the the, the you, places for people to look? Yeah, the, what's you what's your focus? You and our. Oh, Uprooted and Rising has 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 social media as well, yeah, and um, any other um, um, California for Monica as well, and, and United Pillars of Aloha. United Pillars of Aloha. Those are all the places to check it out. Okay, and please um, please send. We are here because we have to be here, right? And holding the space. So we will be, be beginning a little bit of protocol in just a moment and we are going to um, check it out inside very soon. As you can see, Kumu Miki Lani, the, you know, she's a, she's a digital Kumu. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, so she's busy. I'm inviting everybody knows and I, I've been facing the phone towards Auntie Laulani so you guys can hear everything she's saying. Because Auntie Laulani and I do the exact same things when it comes to live feeds. It's about getting the message out to unify. So just so that everyone is caught up to date, what we have right now is um, the situation that we have is the Board of Regents in their January meeting, which was at the University of California at San Francisco. Um, they did hear from uh, Kealoha Pishoda and from Lanakila Mangual, and that was awesome. Um, but they also had promised two more speakers, um, which were supposed to be two students. We had, you know, two students had prepared and they were promised the time, but they were not given that time at the actual meeting. They were cut off and not allowed to speak. So the UC did not hear from its own students about what their position was on the 30 meter telescope that the University of California is very, very much a part of. And so because of that, the situation that we're in right now is that, um, you know, we, we basically pushed them at that point and, you know, um, reminded the chair, chair uh, that he is responsible very much to, um, to hear from his own students because they don't want TMT. The University of California has been very strong and there have been like a lot of awesome students such as Nargis over here. Nargis. Mahalo, Nargis. With there's Nargis. And um, 
and these students have been super super wonderful in speaking out and taking a real stand for the protection of land and indigenous peoples so um, what the University of California did promise at their last meeting and what the chairman specifically said was that he was going to schedule a special session for Mauna Kea to, for the board to specifically discuss this issue. We reminded him of the urgency of the situation because the moratorium was, um, was going to be ending and it has ended, which means that the state of Hawaii could at any time um, move against the Kia'i. And that is a very clearly very dangerous situation. Now with the outbreak of the, um, of the COVID um, virus, it creates an even more dangerous situation because our only way to physically hold off the, um, this desecration is to stand in the road and everybody has to be prepared to do that at any given moment clearly that's a very dangerous thing when it comes to um, people having to gather together or even to be having to be prepared to gather together it's very hard yeah so so because of that um, you know it should be a really basic thing that the University of California needs to hurry up, figure out what they're going to do, and pull out of TMT. That's really the thing that they need to do. That's what their students want. That's what they they um, they need to do financially because they simply do not have the resources. I mean, they're firing students for asking for cost of living allowance to be able to continue to work as graduate students, and. Um, you know, clearly they can direct their funds towards better things such as their own students, their own people. So because of that, um, you know, we've been pretty strong in, in pushing them because they are a pivotal member of the, you know, of the, um, of the TMT, mm -hmm. you know, make no mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Yang, the chairman of TMT, mm -hmm. of the TMT board, is uh, a chancellor at UC Santa Barbara, and um, they have a, a lot of TMT board members from the University of California. Um, the investments heavily come through the University of California. And so if the University of California pulls out, TMT is done, and that's what they need to do. And their meeting today, they have not put Mauna Kea on the agenda as, plan, as they promised. The moratorium is up. Um, and so we are here to make sure that they know this. Now, of course, because of the outbreak, they are not allowing the same amount of public testimony that they would otherwise allow they're doing it by phone and they're doing it randomly right and so because of that they get to choose who they're going to call on when they're going to call on they're only giving everybody one minute each and you cannot as you could in the past um pool the time so it basically makes it very very difficult to deliver a message to them and yet we still need to do that and that is what we're here to do we're here to let them know they are not getting off the hook and with great aloha in our hearts for them and for you know all the great people in the system um we are holding them accountable and you know making sure that they know there's no escape they need to pull out of tmt period did I get that right, Kumo Mikilani? Yes. yes. Sorry, I was watching who was coming out the door. But yes, they need to pull out. So um, we're here to represent. And we're going to be here for the next three days. Today, tomorrow, and Thursday to see what the outcome is of what we can do. So with that said, we just want to first say thank you to the Tongva Nation. Thank you, Tongva elders. Thank you, um, Sister Tina, Tina Kataron, Joe, and Jessa Mahalo for allowing us to be here. And again, thank you, Tongva ancestors, for allowing us to be on these lands. And this is the way we do things, you guys. We do things honorably, honor the First Nations people, recognize them, and then we unify that way. And now 
we can do the work. And I also want to say thank you to you folks, to um, my sister Tina Calderon, Elder Calderon, and um, Jess of them for submitting your written testimony for us. Because they do stand with us. They do stand with us from Mauna Awa Kea. And then where they're doing it is on Tongva lands. This is where it is. And of course, we know this up in Ohlone. Right yep, right here. <laughs> Tongva lands. And so again, it. sister, thank you so much. We love you guys. Tongva people, I just love you guys. Ohana, I love you. Um, with that said, we just want to say a little prayer. Oh, you want? I can hold it too. No matter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. For the, I'm so for used the, to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So let's just um, asking permission for us to be here. Let's, so, let's bring everybody together. Yeah. You want to come, sweetie? And I think we can just do. I I don't mind doing a couple of dances by myself. You guys just join me. Whoever wants to jump in, because we're supposed to have aha, right? And so we can still have aha no matter what because aha is wherever we want to dance any place can be ceremony and if this is tongva land that means this is a sacred place oh wait the whole world is sacred and so is our mountain so here we go no ho na ke aku ai kana hele hele ya la ya e ke ki o hu o hu e ka o a ko ko e he na tino malu i ka lani malu e ho e E he ho ulu mai ana o laka i kona mau kahu O ma kono, ma kono, ma kono ai No ho ana ke aku ai kana hele hele i ala i a e ke ki ohu ohu e kau a koko E he na kino malu i ka lani malu e ho e E he ho ulu mai ana o laka i kona mau kahu O ma kono, ma kono, ma kono ai No ho ana ke aku ai ka na hele hele i a la i a e ke ki ohu ohu e ka o Koko e he na kino malu i ka lani malu e ho e e he ho ulu mai ana o laka i kona mau kahu o ma kono ma kono ma kono ai. So if the Tongvas were here, we would be doing this for permission asking for permission and protection um, while we do the work. But it would be also when we would enter a sacred space. And so again, as Mauna Kea protectors and as protectors of our waters and our earth, all of us, we have need to continue to walk in our sacred ways. So when we, we go and do these things, we know that we're coming we're coming in a way to represent our mountain. Right, Auntie Lovelani? Aye. And so if our mountain is sacred and her waters are sacred and we are her children, I say this on the feeds, then we need to conduct ourselves the way our mother would want us to conduct ourselves, right? Right? It's, I mean, you can take it in a human form, but that's what our mama is asking. Let's introduce you guys to some of the other people here. Mm -hmm. And we want to hear from them who's holding their cameras. Okay, we'll trade, yeah? We'll trade. Okay. Okay. Come, come. In front of the building, yeah. Um, hi everyone, my name is Nardis. Um, Hello, Nardis. Uh, uprooted and Rising, um, an organization that fights for food sovereignty and food justice. And we're here to push the UC to divest from the telescope on Mauna Kea because it is, it is a food justice and food sovereignty issue as well. Um, the telescope is expected to leak mercury into the land and water and that's going to affect the food and, and water of the indigenous people of the land and um, yeah that's why we're here and I'm um, gonna be here for the next three days and I'm also a student at UCLA um, so this is a very um, important situation for me to be present in and to uh, make sure that um, the UC does not divest uh, does not invest in this in this telescope. <laughs> Ew. And sending yeah. our love out to Pua Nani and Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love you guys from Up, um, up Uprooted up, and Rising. Rising. Mahalo, mahalo. Yes, thank you. Mahalo, mahalo for helping us. Come on, Irene. <laughs>
Hi everyone, my name is Irene Montantes. I am a Mexica, Apache, Mescalero. I'm here to stand in solidarity with my sister Mikalani and for um, Mauna Kea. Um, I've been helping Mikalani for maybe two and a half years now prior to her. Before things got out of control, we were doing banner drops on freeways. And um, I'm with also a KPFK as a news reporter and I push um, indigenous news for the um, evening news on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, so I'm here to not just stand in solidarity, but to also help in awareness and to do a report um, to air on the evening news so people know that there are people still trying to push UCLA to divest from TNT. So I encourage all of you to um, push this message out, we need to divest and protect our and sacred sites and protect our indigenous peoples. Mahalo, 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 my sister. Yeah. And I just wanted to say this to my auntie. I'm gonna tell you this, my auntie. I am gonna share this part, cause the, up until the last minute, my spirit still told me to come. But I was like, okay, I gotta go do a check in with my auntie. And my auntie said she asked me a question, but she didn't really answer. And then the next day, she goes, I'm on the plane. I said, okay. And I was like, okay, I'm in my car. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here. And we're here. I came in, and I will say, I came from Tonohome Oto Homelands. I, that means I came out from Arizona. And I drove at 1.30 this morning and came straight here straight here to UCLA. And I'm here. And I'm present. Mahalo, Kumu Miki Lani. Well, mahalo, Auntie Laulani. For just like, you know, we believe in something greater than ourselves. And that's the Mauna. That is So we're here because we're being spiritually guided. So we understand this is our role and we need to do this. But we thank all of you for pushing out this message about Mauna Kea because we're still here. we still here and we will still fight for what is right. And our Mauna is us. We are the Mauna. So we love you guys. We want to be really clear that we're not, um, we're, we're, don't, it, please, nobody feel bad for not being here. Mm -hmm. This is an emergency situation mm -hmm. in the <clears throat> the entire city of Los Angeles is shut down. And, you know, we, we're here because we have to be here because the Board of Regents are still going to meet. Right. right. And so they're they're not um, stopping with their moving ahead or nobody is um, is making any commitment to um, stop the TMT. You know, so that stuff is not stopping. So we still need to be here, um, but please do not feel bad at all about not being here physically because you know it is a um, it is a lockdown situation in the whole city of Los Angeles, and um, so we're not asking for big groups to come out at this point because. Um, because we are concerned with health and safety and we want to make sure that you know there is um everyone is taking really good precautions and mm -hmm. that they are um you know doing all the things that people need to do to protect themselves and keep themselves well because we can't lose any kiai we no need way. every single mm -hmm. person and um especially the kupuna you know we right. are um so uncle liko wasn't able to come with me because you know we want to really protect our kupuna right, right now and um you know the same with i know the some of the tongva folks you know would be here but um you know we really feel their presence right. um and you know want to emphasize that it, the most important thing is for them to be well right. and so um you know so that's where we are really where we're really focusing the energy but uh, uh, you know we definitely um, one thing about being like kiai and being spiritual practitioners is when you feel it in your na'o that you gotta be someplace, you just gotta do it. And right. that's that's basically why we are here, right. you know, um, despite everything that is going on. And, you know, I think we're doing pretty good in staying safe. All of us have been, um, you know, have been very focused and um, taking a lot of precaution, but we're also... Um, staying on track with what needs to happen so the more that you folks from home you know because i know that a lot of people are, are are shut down right now and um in their homes so um the more that folks can please uh make this battle digital 
honestly we're right. in the season of coup right it's time to you know take the battle and it, and it is a battle that only aloha can win so Ew. you know it's not a battle of um, harming people it's a battle of pono overcoming the heva Ew. Honestly, and the destruction and the desecration is the heva that we need to overcome. It's not about science. Science is not the heva. It's it's the destruction and the desecration is the heva that we need to overcome with aloha. And so that is what um, it is a very real battle, and we need all of you to um, participate in that battle from where you are. And please. Um, share the feeds there's going to be more coming out um keep sending um information to the regions it is true that it's um you know we're we're a little out of the 24 hour um deadline supposedly for submitting testimony but you know what send it anyway right. because you're not out of 24 hours for tomorrow's me or the 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 day after tomorrow, which will also be a meeting, you know, they're meeting right. um, today, tomorrow, and the next day. Yeah, so, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, so just go ahead and keep sending them. Just keep emailing. Go look up the Board of Regents and email them, you know, send, send them the information. Tell them that they need to divest from TMT and specifically, if they're going to just take their time and discuss it, if they're going to insist on that, then they best be telling the state of Hawaii to stop interfering interference you know to um to give a guarantee that there will be no interference with the kia'i who need to be connected to their land need to stand in protection of the land and so we want to make sure that that is um that that is happening it looks like we have a special guest aloha hi we are um, here for the Board of Regents meeting and so beforehand we are um, letting everyone know about the protection of Mauna Kea because that's the main thing that we are um, standing in protection. Are you, are you working with the Board of Regents meeting? I work the hotel um, and the Board of Regents meeting is all online now so they're not here. Um, and they're streaming everything. Right, so so we are also um, having our um, we're we're participating online when it actually happens, um, but right now we are giving people an idea of what is taking place. And um, my understanding is that there is still, you know, as we can see, there's still the the security for the meeting, even though the regents aren't here. Those are actually going to come down. Um, they're going to remove those fencing uh, just because there's no one here to protect. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but yeah, they're going to move the fencing and uh, all the security personnel and everything like that. Okay, okay, mahalo. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, we're here because um, we are here to address the Board of Regents and we will be doing it digitally. And, um, and a lot of other people will, be, um, will also be uh, digitally uh, joining us in that effort. Yeah, so, so because of that, we will be, um, you know, we want to give people an orientation of the place that we're at, what's going on here, the fact that it's, um, you know, that everything is on lockdown and um you know or, or basically kind of sort of yeah that not 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 full lockdown yeah. but but that it's um that um there that people are not gathering as they would if it yeah, were yeah, a normal yeah. circumstance right yeah okay cool. yeah um just so you know typically when it, there is a gathering um, of some sort of uh, protest or something uh, we either recommend that you go to the sidewalk or to the back side of the building uh, and not in front of the building. Okay, well, we're not, um, it, you know, we, we don't actually do any protesting. We do protection and that's, that's what we're here to do is just to share that aloha and to educate um, and educate people and to orient them um, as to how things are, um, how things are going and in what is happening. Okay, okay. And you're welcome to stand around, of course. Um, just keep in mind, if you do start to, um, I don't know, start to chant or whatever it is that uh, protesters do, um, we will have to ask you to move to the sidewalk or the back side. Oh, yeah, no, I was praying. If you consider that chant, that's a different, that's praying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was praying. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah, and, and, and I, I do want to be clear also that, um, you know, chanting or whatever protesters do is not really that, that not really a culturally appropriate yeah, um, uh, I probably didn't use the correct verbiage okay so. okay well everything that we're doing is cultural and spiritual just okay. to be clear That's perfectly okay so enjoy Thank mahalo you. oh what was your name steve steve harrington steve harrington aloha aloha Hello. steve okay so that is steve Aloha to Steve. <laughs> so we'll make sure that we're not doing any of that chanting or whatever protesters do. Well, he said we can pray, so I was praying. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so we we have some idea of um, of. Uh, that are welcome. We, I think we've been officially welcomed by the University of California. So those barricades were for us, you guys. <laughs> That's a lot of barricades <laughs> for us. <laughs> they put a barricade over there for us. It goes all the way around the entire building. Yeah, they put up fencing. You can see the fencing. The cops are there. They just wasn't too sure who was going to show up. You guys forgot to show up. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, mahalo, mahalo. See, the cops are right back there. Mahalo. Mahalo. We love you guys. We will bring you folks back on. And we are present. We're here. And we love you guys. Ahui ho, malamapono. Mahalo. Okay. Mahalo nui, everybody. Hee And don't forget to tune in to the Board of Regents meeting at 3.30. We will have the information posted um, and please somebody post it in the comments here too so that um, people can find it. But uh, definitely tune in to the UC Board of Regents and just email them, email them, email them, email them and tell them to stop TMT, withdraw from TMT and um, let's go folks, mahalo. We're trying to find we're trying to find the live stream. We're trying to get on it. For those of you just jumping on, we're trying to log in for the live stream. Uh huh. Okay. They're gonna let um, Auntie Lola yeah, speak. To, but if you can do us a favor and share, share, share to all your groups, please share. Hey. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. I call this meeting to order at 334. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for participating in this meeting under these complex and for many people stressful circumstances. In accordance with Governor Newsom's executive order, we're able to allow uh, special committee members and presenters to participate remotely via video conference. I'm incredibly grateful to be having this meeting, especially because basic need security is important right now more than ever. Moving on to public comment. Uh, to our virtual guests today, welcome, and thank you so much for your interest in the UC and for taking time to participate in this very special, special committee meeting. Uh, we really appreciate folks' observations and comments. Uh, as the notice on the Regents' website indicated, because of health and safety concerns, um, we've offered members of the public to let us know if they would like to give public comment by telephone. So the secretary will be calling individuals when it is their turn to speak. Uh, please be patient and we're doing our best to work through new technology for regent meetings. So uh, we have three individuals I'm going to call per regents policy, um, three minutes each. I'll be timing them from my home up here in Northern California. Um, and, and then my little uh, cell phone will go off when your time is up. So the three speakers today are Aiden Ara Hessingham, Milani Teal and Narges Zagu. Okay, we can now call uh, Lalani. Aloha. My name is Lalani Teal, and I'm calling um, from the UCLA campus right now. Um, and we have gathered here. Um, I'm here with a lot of the students from the Pacific uh, Students Pacific Island Students Association and many other students. Um, and we are here to urge 
the University of Hawaii to protect Mauna Kea. And as you know, the University of California is a major partner in the 30 meter telescope. And that telescope right now is threatening to create one of the greatest indigenous and human rights crises that is taking place in our day and age right now. Um, there are many kupuna who are being affected. These are elders. Um, 33 were arrested. And there are many who are standing off right now, even despite the threat to health and safety that that involves at this time. We ask that the University of California divest immediately from the TMT. And I want to note that we came to the last Board of Regents meeting, and two students were not allowed to speak, but the chair of the Board of Regents said that there was going to be a, um, a special session held for the Board of Regents to discuss Mauna Kea. That has not happened yet, and the state of Hawaii could move in and create human rights violations at any time. So we strongly, strongly urge you um, to discuss this as soon as possible, to just pull out. And in, in the meantime, please, at this time, there is no moratorium preventing that violence. So, so we ask you to please tell the state of Hawaii right now, you need to demand as part of the TMT that the state not commit any um, enforcement action against these indigenous protectors until such a time, at least until you're able to fully discuss the matter. And if, um, until that time, um, there, there needs, needs to be, be protection, protection of the people. Of the people. Uh, we, uh, we ask, ask that, that you direct these funds, funds instead, instead towards your, your own people, such as, as the cost of the living allowance that is needed by, by many students, uh, student uh, workers, workers. And, and also that you, that you please, please join, join us in, in harmonizing science together with indigenous wisdom. wisdom. Scientific knowledge and indigenous wisdom together will heal the earth and, and will help, help the people, people and, and will prevent, prevent a global, global catastrophe that's much, much, much worse than, than what, we're what we're going through right, right now. So, so I thank you for your time. time. I, I want to note know that Nargis is, um, who's, who's the next, next speaker, is with, is with me. me. And, and so, so um, if, 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 if it would help, help, I can pass the phone to her. Mahalo, thank you all for your time. And please remember, we need protection of sacred places now more than ever. And the University of California has the responsibility to protect Mauna Kea and stop TMT. Mahalo. So this is an Thank you. Anne, you're on mute. Hello? Hello? OK, thank you very much. And Nard, just go ahead. Um, Hi, Hi, my um, name is Nargis. Nargis. I'm a student at UCLA, UCLA. Um, and, and I'm here to also uh, talk about the youth investment, investment in the PMT on Mauna Kea, Kea and ask um, that y'all make, make a conscious, make a conscious decision, 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 decision to protect, protect indigenous uh, uh, rights and land and divest from, from the 30 meter telescope. Um, it's, it's going, going to negatively, negatively affect a lot of indigenous people and a continuous cycle of um, colonialism, colonialism that has affected, affected generations of people, people and um, I, think I think that you guys have a very um, big, big role in this and, and um, could, make could make a big difference, difference in making sure that people, sure that people have um, access, access to their, to their, to their land, land and um, don't, don't continue this cycle of colonialism. Um, and, and yeah, yeah it's, it, 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 that's all I want to say. I could defer it to, um, if, if, if I still have some more time, more time um, it's on Team McGill on if you want to say something. As a As cultural, cultural practitioner, Mauna Kea is very sacred to us, and it's no different from someone who may have a church or something, and you know, it's you know, our place where, where we, we do, we our, do prayers, our prayers, where we, we speak, speak to our ancestors, and how we pray to take care of our land and our water, to keep it clean, keep our earth clean for the next seven generations. generations. So, so, 
and, and also, also I just want to give a shout out to our Congo ancestors and our Congo Ohana family who are standing, who are standing in alignment with us, with us um, um, Elder, Elder Tina, Tina Calderon, Calderon as well as, well as Jessa, Jessa and Joe Calderon. I just want to thank them because if they were here, they would love to speak to you folks also because they stand strongly with us in the protection of sacred places and sacred sites. Um, and they couldn't be here today because of what's going on in the world today. But um, in behalf of them, again, thank you, Tongva elders and Tongva nation for allowing us to come and speak on your lands that we are presently on. Thank you. Um, Chair Weddle, I believe those are all our public commenters for today. Thank you. I really appreciate folks adjusting to the, to the virtual meeting. Um, it looks like we have a, a member that wants to speak before I, I move on. Regent Lee. Yeah, I just wanted to ask uh, Ann Shaw um, if she could to follow up on the fact that Chair Perez did ask for a full meeting on this. And I do want to make sure that that request is continued. I know he wants to have that meeting. So I just want to make sure we um, Yes, uh, yes. And I, it's on our list of, you know, we keep a list of future items. And frankly, it would have been either this meeting or May, but, you know, things, circumstances, you know, such as yeah. what we're currently facing and other things, um, he, he definitely is planning it. So in the next several meetings, I'd say yes. Okay, thank you. And that'll be before the uh, full board. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Regent Lee. I, I'd like to also underscore that I think that conversation needs to happen as soon as possible. Oh, hello. Hi, uh, my name is Tess Gautier. I'm an undergraduate uh, student at UC Berkeley. I'm a conservation um, and resource studies major, and I'm involved in a group at UC Berkeley called um, uh, Protectors of Mauna Kea UC Berkeley. Um, I I'm just concerned that an institution that I'm a part of is involved in the 30 meter telescope as um, the creation of it would mean the desecration of sacred land and the terrorization of native Hawaiian um, communities. I think that the UC system, land grant universities, a lot of institutions are all um, trying to undo a lot of their colonial steps and are trying to take steps to do this, but this um, involvement of 30 meter telescope is still an active way in which we are participating in colonialism. And a lot of institutions who have invested in the 30 meter telescope have already recognized this issue and have pulled out, and the University of California would be the next one to do so. We like to claim that we are a world leader, and yet we are still involved in something that seems such like a, an obvious thing to pull out of. Thank you. Time. Um, just please let us know who you are. Uh, hi, yeah. So my name is Ms. Wendy Meng, or Ms. Um, should I give an introduction, or how should this work? You, you have one minute. Please use okay. it however you see fit. Okay, yeah. So um, my name is Ms. Wendy Meng. Like I said, I am currently a PhD student at the University of Southern California. I am calling to, uh, I guess, show my public, my, give my public comment on protesting the um, built of the TMT on in, in the on the island because as a scientist I feel like we have this long history of exploiting and taking indigenous land and resources and I strongly go against that and our continuation of that um, so that sums up my comment but I just don't know if I can defer my time to any of other people from uh, uprising and rising and or up, 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 and rising instead during this time. Um, there's many of you signed up to the, um, we'll hear from many of you um, on this topic today. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. We have Puanani on. Great. Go ahead. Hi. Um, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak. I'm calling, my name is Puanani Apoliona Brown. I'm calling to urge the UC to withdraw support for Mount Ak all support for Mauna Kea, so long, I for the 30 meter telescope, so long as it's planned to be built on Mauna Kea, which is land that is sacred to Native Hawaiians, without the free and prior informed consent of the indigenous people of Hawaii, this is a human rights violation. Currently, there's no moratorium in place that would block construction and violence against indigenous people who are protecting their rights. And the, the UC Board of Regents has promised to hold a special session on this issue. 
we have not, this special session has not been scheduled, and so, so long as this meeting hasn't happened, my immediate ask is that the UC use its significant power as a major partner in, T, in the 30-meter telescope to call on the state of Hawaii to, to reinstate a moratorium that would halt construction um, until this meeting, especially since this meeting hasn't happened and it's been promised. As a Native Hawaiian woman, this is an issue that is very close to my heart, my sense of identity, culture, and purpose. I've met many of your students who feel the same way. At this point in time, um, institutions of higher ed must look after Indigenous people and champion Indigenous rights. Um, and I hope you know how this is impacting the mental health and well-being of your students, Native Thanks. students at your school who feel like their voices are not being heard. Thanks. We are tired of... I'm a scientist. I'm a, I'm a researcher. I have been benefiting from science my whole life. I have been benefiting from astrophysical research my whole life. I, um, the, the astrophysics class that I took under undergrad changed my life. And like the, the knowledge that we can get from telescopes is really meaningful and important to me. But none of it is as important as the um, indigenous sovereignty of the land. And there are so many other ways to get the... Uh, the data that we need, there's so many other possible sites. Um, the the harm to to the people who live there, the harm to the, the university and its people, the harm to the, the reputation of the university and to the, the research future is um, there's no, nothing nothing that can come from this telescope is worth what what it will cost to get there. Hello, everybody. This is Estefania Narvaez. I am with Uprooted and Rising, which is a national network that stands behind any fight um, that threatens food sovereignty, and this is one of them. We see a great connection between this um, and the fight for food sovereignty in general. We have a network that is national that is paying attention to this issue, and what I, I want to lift up the words of everybody that has done public comment on this issue so far, especially Auntie Lalani. Uh, Narges and Nikilani, who spoke yesterday. Um, in particular, I want to lift up, um, I think, what is at the crux of this issue, which is um, doing what uh, uh, is desecration of sacred land, um, uh, is a desecration of Mauna Kea worth um, the scientific advances that it claims. Um, and I just want to uplift what Auntie Lalani said yesterday, which is that um, she was urging us to harmonize the um, to harmonize indigenous knowledge and scientific knowledge. Uh, right now, there's no moratorium on the construction of the TMT, and this is why this is urgent right now, because the state of Hawaii can move any time um, and create human rights violations for the people that are there that have been stopping the TMT and are the only reason why that isn't built right there right now. Um, myself and everyone in Uprooted and Rising is with the protectors at the Mauna, is with... Um, all the people that have commented so far on this issue, and we want to urge the UC system to divest and um, tell you that, that that is the right decision and that all food sovereignty advocates here around the country are, are with the Mana protectors. Aloha. My name is Laulani Teal, and I am, um, I have traveled from Hawaii to Oahu to be able to address the Board of Regents. I particularly want to directly address the chair, um, Chair Perez, with much respect. I really want to be sure that um, that we are clear that the, at the last Board of Regents meeting at UCSF, I attended and had two students who were unable to speak on the issue of Mauna Kea, which they had really prepared for, and we were told that the University of California needed more time to discuss this. So what happened was that Chair Perez said that there would be a board, full board meeting on this issue of Mauna Kea, and that has not happened yet. It is not on this agenda. I want to emphasize that this is a urgent situation because there is no moratorium on state violence right now against the Kia'i. So please, Chair Perez, contact the state of Hawaii and demand that there be no enforcement until such time as the University of California Board of Regents is able to meet. Mahalo. Thank you. Good morning, UC Regents. Thank you for this opportunity for speaking to you all today. 
My name is Uriah Blackwell. I am a fourth-year Kanakamali student at UCLA representing the Pacific Island Student Association. I'm here to address the UC's involvement in the 30-meter telescope construction on Mauna Kea, Hawaii. As a Kanaka student on the UC campuses, I would ask that you all divest from the funding from 30-meter telescope. I find it unacceptable that the regents, people who are supposed to represent me, are funding a telescope that is meant to desecrate the land of my ancestors, especially when other student services are not being fully funded due to a lack of funds. With this in mind, I would ask again that you divest from the 30 meter telescope to better represent students like me who are underrepresented on your campuses. Thank you again. Thank you. Hello, um, I am Christina Manzano King. I'm in the physics and astronomy department at UC Riverside, and I'm an observational astronomer who uses the telescopes on Mauna Kea in my research. So I'm here to talk to you today about um, TMT. Um, and I'm also from Hawaii, so this issue is very close to me. And people always say that this is a complex situation. It's not. It's a question of consent. And what is happening right now on Mauna Kea is not what consent looks like. We are trying to build a telescope on conservation land in the middle of a fragile and unique ecosystem without the consent of the indigenous people who hold this mountain sacred. Um, and this is obviously wrong. And Mauna Kea is the best place to build TMT the same way that Standing Rock was the best place to build an oil pipeline. And as long as we use the same tactics that were used at Standing Rock, then we are not entitled to the best. So as an astronomer, I can tell you that TMT is not essential for advancing science. We have plenty of other tools available to us and are smart enough to figure it out. Um, and at some point, I can tell you with absolute certainty that TMT will never be built on Mauna Kea. So I'm calling today to ask you to divest from the TMT project and to use that money instead to support your TAs and staff with a cost of living adjustment. Thank you, time. Thank you, and um, I think we have one more speaker queued up. I'm... We have Laulani Teal. Great, thank you. Hi, Laulani, go ahead. Aloha, mahalo nui loa, members of the Board of Regents, and I would again like to uh, specifically address Chair Perez and also Dr. Henry Yang of UC Santa Barbara, who is also the chair of TMT. And, you know, I'd like to address you folks with aloha, mahalo nui loa for hearing me today, um, specifically about the elders who are affected in the protection of Mauna Kea and also by the COVID-19 situation that we have. You know, while the University of California has not yet um, scheduled a discussion on the possible removal of itself from either TMT or at least from the removal of TMT from Mauna Kea, they, these elders are put in a very precarious position of having to go to court, having to fly to court. Um, having to, uh, you know, stand in protection of the Mauna because there is no moratorium on state violence against them. So right now they're in great danger. And I really ask that the University of California, please, please um, tell the state of Hawaii that they must absolutely guarantee that there will be no info. Um, impact on the protectors of Mauna Kea, and please drop the charges against all 33 elders immediately, and please withdraw from TMT now. Mahalo. Uh, hi, um, my name is Koki I'm Yurok from Northern California. I'm, uh, my name is Melody Satella, and um, I'm Samoa. Awesome, and she's from the Pacific Islander Student Association. I'm sorry to say that um, my earlier part of my feed seems to have been cut, so so I just want to say again that um, the, these two students are the president and vice president of the Na of the American Indian Student Association, yeah, and that Melody is from um, the Pacific Islander Student Association. We heard earlier from these awesome folks over here. The brothers, and so now we get to hear from from them about um, about 
why you folks are supporting um, Mauna Kea and helping us and Mahalo for helping us and Kokono also fed all of us and yes, 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 he's very awesome yeah yep. Thank so you. Um, we want to give him the thanks and um, and and all of you the thanks for having us so maybe um can I put you on the spot to maybe say your your thoughts and all of you about um, the protection of Mauna Kea and why you're why um, why you're helping with this effort? Um, well, I think it's a very important issue that maybe a lot of people don't know about. Um, so yeah, I just think it's really important because Pisa is, um, and Pacific Islands. Uh, they are like uh, there are brothers and sisters out there, right? They have similar struggles. They're indigenous peoples, um, and just with the TMT and the UC system, is uh, desecrating lands that should not be should not be touched unless like um, there's permission or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I just think it's important to bring a lot of visibility to to this issue. Okay. Yeah, and it just really sucks to see how. Um, People just really don't care as much when they when it comes to indigenous lands, like especially sacred lands. Like they don't really mind having those lands being desecrated because it doesn't have anything like specifically important to them. But they don't realize that they're really like affecting whole communities of people. And our land is really a part of us. It's an extension of us. That's why we care so much. That's why we like take care of it. That's why we, you know, do these things and have to stand together. Is because we know all of the loss that comes from it and. We see all of this stuff that's being affected all over the world, like just for all indigenous people. And we hold like, I think it's like 80% of the world's biodiversity, just like the indigenous population of the world has 80%. We only make up like maybe 2% of the world's population. So if people don't start paying attention to issues like this, like that number is going to just keep going down and going down until it's irreversible and we won't be able to save each other and help each other. And that's really like, why we all stand for it together, you know? <laughs> mahalo, yeah. mahalo. Um, I agree a lot with what she said. I think it's very important to um, show up for our indigenous brothers and sisters because a lot of our issues are um, very much ignored like to regular people. So like they don't understand the connection that these people have to like their land and their water and stuff. So like even though I'm not um, Native Hawaiian, I do understand like um, the cultural connection and like that it traces like far back like before us and like um, it's something that we'll continue to live on so like I think it's best that we act now and um, stop the, the desecration of this land. Mahalo, mahalo. You know and um <clears throat> One of the things, one of the, the 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 parts about Mauna Kea that's so important, um, Yakumumi Hilani, is the, the the importance in navigation. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and so so basically, we're um, we've used Mauna Kea to find each other. You know, so so to go to Samoa or to go to um, you know the uh, any of the different places, you know, they we've definitely talked with a lot of the coastal people, right? That that um, you know, bo both of your folks' lands are not far from the from Moana Nui too, right? And so um, <clears throat> so those those lands, you know, how we've managed to find each other across these vast oceans has been our sacred mountains. There's that feeling and, um, you know, whether it's, um, you know, the mountains that you folks have in, in your territories or, you know, in, um, uh, you know, the 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 site of um of the 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 mountains in samoa or tonga you know or any of those places um also you know mauna kea stands as this this really tall mountain that you know if our peoples journeyed um across the ocean you know which they don't necessarily recognize but we remember yeah. right and if we did, you know, those tall mountains are kind of like the first thing we would see and they're the, they're the things that energetically will like guide us to where we need to go, you know. So, so anyway, that's a, that's a thought. So some people are saying that, you know, with that in mind, that this whole struggle over the 30 meter telescope's um, attempted construction on Mauna Kea is bringing all of our peoples together. You know, from revitalizing ancient connections that our ancestors 
had from ancient ancient times and what do you folks do you f- folks think that that may be something that's happening yeah i definitely think so um i think it's really more important now more than ever is to just bring back old traditions or just even like not really bringing them back but just like giving more attention to them because <laughs> Like things that they're not really lost, but I feel like when we stop looking at these, well, I'll put the camera on them for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do. Oh, they're, they're, the, they're the coaches. That's yeah, they're here. Making nervous. We had our time. It's okay. In times of crisis, though, it's it's nice to see how much it brings everyone together and how much we really do stand up for each other and stand you know because we we have power in our people and i feel like everyone's connected and we all see that like all of us indigenous folks so it really does bring us all together and it, it sucks under the certain situations that it happens but i feel like it's important that it does happen like brings us together that that means just because um we all collectively understand like what's going on and how much it hurts like all of our communities like because something like this happens and it like people get away with it and then they feel like it's okay to desecrate other lands and then it just keeps continuing and keeps continuing so it's really just important for us to come together and revitalize a lot of things you know just different traditions and whatnot yeah mahalo mahalo well, mahalo. Thank you. Thanks to you guys so much. It's like, we can't say how how awesome it is to see all these different peoples to whom we're connected. You know, we really feel strongly connected to all these different, you know, different peoples around all of Moana Nui, you know, including the continent part and our, our um, brother and sister islands and, you know, all of that. It's just that's one great thing that... Um, that has come out of all of this and so really thank you so much for for standing with us and just doing what you do so mahalo thank you mahalo all right okay aloha